Okay, so then in the corner, southeast corner, we have our uh, platform feature 167 that we have been gradually removing the earlier floors from. And what is now obvious is if you stay there, it will be good. What is obvious now is something that we couldn't see before that what was a, a flat and even sur top surface of this oven. It was just the late, the very late uh, uh, form of the oven. The earlier form, uh, not oven, sorry, the, of the platform. The earlier forms of the platform were totally different. And this is it. We can see here a series of floors. So we didn't have really a proper platform. What we had, we had a, a basin-like feature that was narrow and long in this very corner. And then it, would, it went up here, and on top of this platform-like or, or bench-like, another feature that was basically separating this area from the kitchen area. And, and this part of it was very, uh, as it is visible, very much destroyed. Um, very unusual in terms of its packing. And it's really... Um, it's really unusual, I mean, this whole feature. It looks uh, a bit um, uh, messy because we have so many cuts. We have some original Neolithic cuts in it, which is this cut, here, big cut here. The rest of it is just the way we are excavating it in order to do a proper sampling to see the, uh, what is the, the, the feel or the packing of it. But when we clean that out properly this side, it will be even more obvious how unusual the feature is, especially when one takes into account the fact that there were big cut, original cuts in here and another one over there. It is, it's got to do something with this whole floor line of the kitchen that goes east-west like that and then turns around here and then goes up. Uh, actually up this way and it was in line with the edge and with this whole wall, little wall um, rim or, or whatever it is. Okay.